In this video, I'm going to show you how you could trace the path of a tracked object in Resolve 17 in the Fusion page. I'm going to show an example of it right here. So I'm tracking this car going down this path in the road. And you can see that the paint node is tracing the path and drawing a line. So in this video, I'll go over how to set that up and accomplish this effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, you want to start off by adding the footage you want to track on your edit page here. So I have this footage here of these cars driving down this curvy road. So I'm going to be tracking this blue van here in the middle. You could add an adjustment clip above your footage if you want to, but right here I'm just going to come right from the Fusion page on the clip. I'm going to switch over by left clicking on the Fusion page. And I'm just going to adjust my node editor here to get me some room. And I'm going to add the tracker. Click on the tracking under tools. I'm going to add my tracker. Now you could add it in line if you want, but I'm just going to have it off here in the side and connect my media into it. Now I'm going to put that footage in the first viewer here by hitting the one key. And I'm going to get my tracker here. Now this footage is kind of hard since the tracker is green and the background is green. But if I just click in the general area, once I click on it, it turns red here so I can adjust it and move it. So I'm going to left click and drag until it highlights the blue van. And then I'm going to Increase the search area here a little bit. Then I'm going to increase the size, the search area there. So there we go. I've got that set up. Make sure you're at the beginning of the footage. Now I come over here. Now you can play around with the adaptive mode uh, to get the best track. Uh, I usually go every frame, but it depends on the footage. So once I got that set up, I just like to shrink it down a little bit so I can easily see the track going through. So I'm going to track forward and follow the progress of the track and make sure it's tracking well. It seems to be tracking. So it's almost finished now. Off to the right side. And it has a successful track. If I zoom in here, you can see the path of the track. That's going right along the road. So it looks pretty good. So I can bring this back and fit the footage. Go back to the beginning. Now one of the keys to this is if you want you want to publish that path. And want to publish the different values that are there. So you make sure the tracker is selected, come over to the modifiers, and then under the tracker path, it comes over here and say it says right click here for shape animation. You right click there and you click publish. Now that publishes the value of the path so you have something for the paint to draw on. So now that you have the track all done and that's satisfactory, add a background for your paint and then I'll click on the paint node and add that and come to the background, go to the inspector and just put the alpha to zero so that it's background's transparent there. Click on the paint. Now you want to make sure you have a polyline stroke. So I'm going to click on that. Then over in the inspector, I'm going to come to modifiers. Now there's basically two things you have to modify here. You want to open up your stroke controls and you want the right on to be connected to the tracker. So you're going to right click on where it says right on. I'm going to come to connect to. Come down to tracker one, tracker path one. And you want to make sure you have it connected to the displacement. So that will basically lead them right on as the, thing, the object you're tracking moves along. It will write on automatically and follow the object. So you don't have to manually set that, which you could. But this way it just follows the tracker and takes care of that for you. And then the last thing you want to do or the next thing you want to do is right click here for shape animation. And you want to connect, click on, go over to connect to, come over to polyline, and you want to select the value. So now we have to connect the paint. I want to do it to a, uh, I'm going to connect to paint with a merge to the media in. Now I'm going to disconnect the tracker for a second. So if you don't and you go to merge your paint output and your median output, the tracker for some reason automatically connects to the output of the merge and you don't want that. So I just temporarily disconnect that. Make sure the paint is connected to the foreground of the merge, which is the green input, which it is. And then I connect the median back to the tracker. So that's all set and you can see the track is still there. So now if I play through the footage, you'll see the line paint's on and follows the blue van and goes all the way through along the entire track path. Now, of course, you can 
customize the paint, have it to be a different color if you want. So come over to the modifiers, come on the polyline stroke, and change this to any color you want. So like in my first example, kind of a fuchsia here. Then again, it just goes right through. So again, you can use this for something like a map animation. If you're planning out a route or showing a route somewhere, you can have it automatically track something or any other kind of footage where you need to track an object and have it paint the path. So hopefully you found this video useful. This was uh, done in Resolve 17.2.1, but this should work with anything uh, set Resolve 17 or later. So hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.